morning, my friends. How are we doing today? I decided I would vlog today. I've got my coffee here to sit on the warmer. Just thought it'd be a fun little change of pace. I am going to do a little getting ready this morning. It is Thursday. It's just going to be kind of a typical summer day. So yeah, nice to have you here. Um, I've been doing well lately as far as the uh, neck pain, migraine situation. And I so appreciate like the tidbits you guys have given me in the comments section. Those of you who have dealt with that connection, I think it's a very real connection. For me, I am pretty confident that it was like as the result of an injury. One day, no neck pain, no situation, did something and then boom, I'm having this issue. I feel like it took a good couple of weeks and I was on some medication during that time, but now like um, my neck is feeling really normal, my upper back, any area, shoulder blades where, you know, the pain was kind of sometimes radiating. I do really feel like things are on the up and up this week. So I'm grateful for that, but I do have a um, physical therapy appointment scheduled for tomorrow. Uh, my first ever. I'm excited for it. Just throwing on those serums, you know, the ordinary. I talked about these in my favorites sort of video, the one where I talked about the methods I'm loving. The vitamin C one really has a little bit of a thickness to it. It takes a little bit of working in. Okay, I readjusted my setup here a little bit so I could show you this. I want you to see this. Um, I found this in Walmart the other day, which is right in with the regular display, the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint with vitamin C. I thought this needs to be tested. Um, I got the shade 130. Ugh, it was so hard to tell. And I thought given its thinness, just by shaking it, you can hear like how thin and lightweight it is. I thought I will err on the side of going a little bit deeper because I think it's just gonna thin out a lot on the skin. So we've got a dropper. Let's just see what she does. And it's under the Superstay label, which is interesting, right? I have a lot of respect for Maybelline Superstay. Okay, did I apply way more than necessary? This thing has some coverage. Oh my goodness. You know, there's always a first time. <laughs> first time tells me this has more coverage than I thought. And it's darker than I thought. I got a lot on my forehead. I, I'm gonna wipe some of that away. Straight up remove. So glad you could be here with me for this experience. Really? On the other light too. Okay, so just because you can hear it shaking a lot in the bottle, that thinness does not mean it doesn't have coverage. I feel like it's covering quite a bit and I could have gone probably two shades lighter than 130. But we're going to blend it to the point where hopefully it's not a big deal. Um, it does look kind of glowy, don't you think? 24 hour skin tint. Even though I took some away, I still feel like I have way more than necessary on my skin. So next time I'll go less. I think that'll help. Shade is a little deep. I may buy a lighter one. Seems fairly glowy, but does not feel overly tacky. We'll see how the rest of the look shapes up. Okay, here's where we're at now. Um, I put on, today I'm wearing a little incognito concealer from Wet n Wild. I set it with the Laura Mercier Ultra Blur, and I've got a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless just lightly all over. I feel pretty good about it, actually. As I look at my skin now, I'm thinking, okay, this looks like pretty normal for um, like a medium to full coverage foundation on me. I was not expecting that much coverage out of this. The only thing I'd really change is the shade. And I wish they would have put like a shade name because that means something to me. You know, like if they call this warm nude or if they call this light tan, like that would make me veer toward uh, yeah, another part of the range. Simply the number 130, I'm thinking, uh, okay, I, I think I'm 130-ish. <laughs> Somebody came in. My sweetums. What's it like to be so cute? No. No, no, baby. It goes there. She thinks she runs this place. Like, I'll find little sponges and puffs downstairs in random areas. Yes, you are still an angel. You're still an angel. Okay, a little chat about the makeup, what I went on to do with my look. I added some of my Refi Cream Bronzer in the shade Tan. Um, I used this NARS Liquid Blush. It's the Afterglow Liquid Blush. This is the shade Behave. It's 
kind of a soft pink. Honestly, nothing completely remarkable. It was pretty. Then I went to my Sydney Grace palette and I used that top blush there and the highlight to add some glow and a little more color. Did my brows and then the eyes are Italian spritz. I love the way they turned out. Um, I used kind of a, a mix of the mid-tones, just the soft kind of neutral mid-tones to get going. And then I used this cool shade over here. Sorry, we'll just do it this way. The one called Espresso Yourself right there. That cool um, kind of deep brown. I used that in the outer corner and then started working inward with Take Me to Church, that rose gold in the top row. You kind of have to press that one on with your finger. It doesn't cooperate real well, but it blended kind of beautifully into um, Lake Como, that light blue. And then I used some more of that dark neutral brown on the um, lower lash line as well, but I thought that was a fun look. And then the lip is looking very barely there right now. This is another new thing um, that Hard Candy has. Let me get the packaging out of the trash. I can't keep up. They're always putting out new lip products. This is the Insta Pout Lip Melt Softens and Plumps. So yeah, I am getting a cooling sensation here. Um, but the way these work, these little sticks, they click up. They're kind of trying to be like the Tarte Maracuja or the M Cosmetics Lip Cushion where you click them and then they do reach the the point of no return. They're not going to go back down. They just kind of click up and a lot of shine and moisture gets on your lips all at once. Um, but the one, that color that I have on now, is very, very sheer. Like I just wanted to show it to you before I added any kind of lip liner. Um, I also got the shade called On Again and it's looking like maybe it might have a little more warmth to it. And then the other new product I picked up has absolutely adorable packaging. It's this Glossotopia um, Lip Repair Oil. So that's the shade Deep Desire. And it looks like it's gonna be real sheer, but kind of a treatment type of thing. And it has a really like fruity scent. It smells so fruity. It smells like some kind of like a, a berry jam or something like that. Oh, good. Oh, and the mascara I'm wearing is my CoverGirl Exhibitionist Stretch and Strengthen, kind of my favorite of the moment. But I feel like I want to add to the color of this look. I'm going to take a little bit of this deep shade from Maybelline Superstay. It's called Settle for More. And what if we just like, kind of amped it up? I know this won't have classic Superstay staying power since I'm going over something shiny, but just, just bear with me here. Just a little something extra, you know, a little something. So it's just about six o'clock. The girls actually, they tend to wake up at six and they read for a half hour before coming downstairs. I'm gonna do my last little step. I have my Kosas out, so I'll use this one. I always like to take a little bit of powder and I kind of hit this area and see what that just immediately does. Just kind of smooths it, you know? when I get up. Biscuits really does think she's the boss. Do you think you're the boss? Yeah. <laughs> I love this little um, thing that Belle made for me. I, it had to have been between two and three years ago that she wrote this. Um, we were watching that um, Cinderella on Amazon with Camila Cabello and there's a song that goes, if it's a million one, I'm gonna be that one. And, and she, she wrote that whole thing. And as the teachers call it, this is brave spelling. You know, they, they try to sound out words they don't really know at the time. And I just thought that was so sweet. Absolutely loving this cup, by the way. Um, it's from Reduce. You can get them at Walmart or Walgreens. Just love it. So durable. Um, use it constantly. Refill it on average three times a day with water. 100% awesome. And for breakfast today, I'm going to have one of these um, Aldi protein shakes. I think they're like a premier protein dupe. Got a few dishes here that didn't get done in the sink last night, so I will handle that. Oh, 
Also, for my own meal prep, I'm loving these little glass containers. I'll show you more about them at lunch, but um, they're just so nice. And I got like a whole thing of 10 of them, actually. I don't even really need all that I have. Um, I got these great little tops. For Bub, we still... Dear Lord, cat just knocked a plant into the sink. Oh my gosh. Plant knocked into the sink. Thank you, kittens. Good morning. Good morning. Had to break the news that her little Mother's Day plant she made fell into the sink. Crazy kittens, huh? It was rosy. It was rosy. But we can still use this. Yes, we can. This is still very cute. I can't. In fact, you know what I might like to use it for? I could use it in the makeup room. Oh, yeah. I could use it for like some brushes or something or some makeup. Hmm? Yeah. A clean and satisfying before and after. Look at these two. Okay, guys. So this is the chart chart. We all did our chores. Oh, you did? I Mine is breakfast. Breakfast helper? Okay. Kitchen chest and soup. Everybody's been doing really good. And mommy They put, is look what they put for daddy. Who? I Who? can't believe it. Mm. They get $5 as an allowance for doing their chores and um, one extra dollar for any additional things. Hey, don't think <laughs> <laughs> I also get no dollars. Any additional voluntary not being asked to do um, work can result in one extra dollar. Yeah, you did You did something, didn't you? We've made note of that. This is my first time actually offering an allowance. What, what's that? No, no. <laughs> We've done chores. We've used the chore chart, but I think offering the allowance will let them get more of a sense of money and more of a sense of, you know, what things are worth. I have the litter box, afternoon snacks, and living room pick. Good morning, Angel. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I know we went right there. You'll be right there. Okay. She talks to him on the monitor. How you doing? Did you sleep well? And I'll be right there. Are you an angel child? Yes. I'd rather be digging. Oh, everybody just <laughs> must come and give love. My adoring fans. Oh, oh. Clock said a chicken and her chick said peep. Ma said a goat. Blue said beep. Nay said a horse. Quack said a duck. Beep, said the friendly little blue truck. Honk, yelled the dump truck, coming through. I've big important things to do. I haven't got time to pass the day with every duck along the way. Up at a gallop ran the big brown horse. Goat jumped over the fence, of course. Be lighter. Yeah, let's go off today. Hey, I'll watch this. Um, <laughs> Olaf says. Bub made some good BLTs over the weekend. Those are the best BLTs ever. Yeah. You know what I want to do is do like a bacon cheeseburger. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, and Bub, the daddy-daughter dance is tomorrow. Oh, that's right. You remember? Cute new slide. Oh. What do you have, mister? Oh, he took my slippers. That boy. Get ready for third grade. What do you think about it? Is it fun? Do you like it? Yes. What's that little turkey doing? He's supposed to go upstairs. He's going to go up and play with Nana, right? So I just had some learning time with Belle and Eve, and now I'm getting some editing done. I really have quite a bit to get finished up so I can hopefully get this video posted today. And look good doing it. Okay, I'm going to be putting them on as I go, but Snack. there's going to be 10 And proof watching the video. Drugstore and high end.
that I... All right, we got it done. We are uploading, as you can see, thumbnail made. So thankful for mom being here. The kids have been upstairs playing with her and I will pretty soon start making lunch. So Biddy is my little biscuits and gravy girl. She loves really all kinds of breakfast food. And I saw that they had these from Sister Hubers. We love those rolls, but these are like filled with country gravy. So I think she's gonna like them. I have this new little like panini press. I used it last night, probably need to clean it up a little bit more, but it's so good and it's little. Like I have actually a huge panini press that we got when we registered for our wedding. And these days we just don't get it out anymore. It's so heavy and bulky. And this is just super small and great for or like one or two sandwiches. There's my little grilled cheeses hot off the press. They look so good. Okay, so here's their meals. There's bells. There's Biddy with her little biscuit and gravy bowls. Those look so good. And here's Bubba's. Yes, he actually does like salad. And then here's my little meal prep that I did on Sunday. It's like a little chicken broccoli Alfredo bowl. It is exactly portioned out. Uh, for four days of meal prep when you make the recipe. I'll have to link below to the girl who I'm following for this. I like bought and downloaded her cookbooks and I've been making things now for a couple weeks and they've been great. So easy to throw together and you know exactly how many calories you're getting. So I think this was like 340 calories maybe. You measure out your pasta, you got some air fried chicken in there, some steamed broccoli and like a third of a cup of some Alfredo sauce and some cheese. It's really good. And that's been my lunch throughout the week. And I love these little containers too. I'll link to everything. How are those balls? Okay. And tomorrow is the daddy daughter dance. Tomorrow is the daddy daughter dance. That's Where's right. Where's our daddy? Yeah. picked up my dress. How's your grilled cheese? Good. See ya. Boom. Do you, like, do you like my straw, guys? I do. <laughs> and reading some more little blue truck books. <laughs> <laughs> I have this book memorized. Aggie, you got a little cough going, buddy? <laughs> Don't cut the kitten tail. Look at that. Nice and flat. What you gonna do with it? Circle around it. Boop. Don't, don't pat the kitten's tail. Don't pat the kitten's tail. Alrighty, so I got myself a fresh water and I got today's video posted. Um, we are about to head out to go to the girls' tumbling lesson. Hello. Hi, hi. So um, I'm gonna take my laptop there and I can answer some comments and stuff. But for now, I got it posted and that was the goal. Who are you tumbling with today? Dan the whoop, whoop. man. Dan the man. <laughs> video here so I can reply to some comments. We got back from tumbling and um, Domino's is going to be making our dinner tonight. So <laughs> I don't really have any other ideas for what to make. It's like that late week time where I'm running out of stuff and we're just going to go with this. Bub's golfing. He's probably still going to be golfing for a while. So this way he can just have some leftover pizza when he gets home. I just wanted to show you guys this um, amazing smoky eye I thought I would experiment with tonight. <laughs> no, uh, we swam and I didn't take my makeup off first and 
this. We ate our pizza, we swam, we came back in and watched an episode of Little House on the Prairie. It's the one where Laura um, adopted a raccoon for a while and then there was a concern about her and the dog got rabies, but they didn't. And yeah, I just, I can't handle myself like this. I'm gonna go take a shower now. <laughs> One of my favorite post shower things is this milky leave-in conditioner from Sol de Janeiro. It smells so good and it really helps you get through your hair well. And now I'm doing my skincare. I've got my Inky List Retinol. So I've been doing that and I've been following that up with my Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This, I've been using this for a long time. I really feel like it makes a difference. Gosh, I'm starting to get a little low on it. Follow that up with e.l.f. Holy Hydration. This is the fragrance free. Keep this over in my makeup fridge. Feels so refreshing. And sometimes if I'm doing self tanning, I will mix some Isle of Paradise drops into that. And lately for some eye cream, I just use a little pump of some Vanny cream. It's just so rich and nice. And I pop that on. Contacts out and then all over I have on my Tree Hut Watermelon Body Butter and the Coco Cabana Mist. West Wing. We love West Wing. Be Where are we at in West Wing, Bub? We're on season two, episode eight. Nineteen minutes left in it. We're both freshly showered. We are so clean. Bub golfed. I think he worked too today. I did work. I worked also for uh, sixty percent of the day and golfed the other forty percent. It was fun, right? Yeah, had a great time. Bub enjoyed my choice of dinner, which was Domino's Pizza. It was quite good. The uh, deep dish sausage and mushroom is always an excellent yeah, choice. Yeah, I forgot to show that on camera. <gasps> I kind of just forgot at the tail end of the day that I was doing this. It's really hard to remember. Anyway, friends, thank you so much for watching. I um, hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope to bring back some more of these periodically. Just to, you know, break up all the makeup content all the time. Break up all that makeup. Break up makeup. <laughs> mm, we've got a daddy-daughter dance tomorrow. That'll be fun. I'm sure we'll have some pictures to share. Yes, it's gonna be a fun Father's Day weekend. So best wishes to all the all the daddies out there. <laughs> I assume I'm, people will fan me and feed me grapes and things. Oh, you know, oh bring, yeah. bring me platters of various fruits. We'll work on that. We'll and, work on uh, the plan, plans are in motion. Okay. Prep, prep small cakes of some sort. Thank you again, my friends. I love you, and I will see you again very soon. Bye.